Hey YouTube, Nandor690 here and I'm coming at you with another video and this one is going to show you how to control your Nest thermostat with Siri. Now Nest isn't compatible with HomeKit devices but what I'm going to show you here is going to allow you to be able to act like it's a HomeKit device. We're going to need a couple of things in order to do this and the first one and I'll have a link in the description for all the things that we're going to need. The first one is going to be the node package right here and uh, you'll go to this link and you're going to want the version 4.2.4 .4. so you just click on it right there and it'll automatically download it for you once it's downloaded you'll just double click on it and click continue a couple of times give it just a second here and then agree and then click install I've already done that so that way we can just move right along uh, the next thing that we're going to need to do is open up terminal if you don't know where that is you can go to launchpad go to the other folders and then click on terminal and it'll bring up a new terminal window for you. We're going to do a couple of pseudo commands here and I'll write them or I'll type them in the description for you guys so you can just copy and paste them. So the first command is going to be sudo npm install hyphen g homebridge and you'll probably have to type in your password I've uh, done this a couple of times so I didn't need to type in my password this time for the sudo command and we'll give it just a second to uh, install for us it won't take too long just a couple more seconds here and there we go the next command is going to be sudo npm install hyphen g homebridge hyphen nest and that'll take just a second to install okay now that that's done what you need to do next is uh, type homebridge and you'll get this air here and it's because we need to configure our config.js file so what you're going to do is you'll just right click on the file open with text wrangler and what you need to do is under platforms username and password the username is going to be the email address that you use to sign in to uh, nest with so we'll type mine here and then the password is going to obviously be the password that you use to sign in to nest with so once you do that you'll just go up here to file and then save and then we can X out of that and the next thing that you're gonna do is go to uh, click on the uh, desktop so that way we have finder up in the menu bar click on go click on go to folder and you're going to go to this folder right here and uh, I'll put this in the description also so you can just copy and paste it and once you do that just click go and then we're going to drag and drop the config.json file right here and then we can X out of that because we're done with that and then what we do is we uh, go back to a terminal and type home bridge again and this time you can see it's fetching the nest device and now we need to add this code to an application on our device in order to communicate with it. So what you're going to do next is uh, go into the App Store. Up here in the search menu you'll type in devices and click search and the first one you should get is this uh, app right here so just go ahead and download that. Give it just a second here. Once it's downloaded go ahead and open it up and you'll be asked to name your home we'll just call this one home and click next and then click done and now you'll see that you have to add a new device so click on add new device click on your home uh, default room and then if it doesn't show up here what you might have to do is close out a terminal and then we'll open it back up and then we'll type home bridge again and let it fetch our device and then you should see a uh, home bridge pop up here so you just click on home bridge click add anyway and then let me pull this up a little bit 
down here at the bottom where it says enter code manually click that and then just enter the code that you see right here which is 9876543 you'll get a accessory added and now you can see that your thermostat is there so we'll click save and then we'll just go back to rooms and devices and done and you can see that your thermostat's there now you can click on it and you can change the temperature right here or you know the reason why we did this is so you can now ask Siri to do it for you Siri can you change the temperature to 72 degrees you got it Almar I set the Cosmos to about 72 degrees and I don't know if you heard in the background but my uh, heater just uh, clicked on because it's a little cooler in here than that you can also ask her things like this what's the humidity in the house the Cosmos is at 49 and if you look at the Nest thermostat uh, you would see that uh, I am at 49 percent humidity in my house right now so that's it guys that's how you control your Nest thermostat with Siri now I'm gonna have another follow-up video to this on how to uh, control your uh, fill up hue lights with Siri and uh, it's pretty much the same process we have to do a couple of other things to the uh, config file but I'll go through that in the uh, in the video so uh, I hope this uh, works out really well for you guys if you like it please give me a thumbs up and share the video and um, if you have any problems or any comments or anything leave them down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to help you out or you can send me a message on YouTube and I can answer you back that way uh, until the next video guys um, I'll check you guys later